Yeah, I'm the fourth generation pilot. My great granddad started it. He, uh, he had his pilot's license signed by Oval Wright. Every day I feel like I talk to my granddad every day about it and I learn something new about him. But then, then it's my granddad, uh, my uncle, and then now uh, me following him in the footsteps. As an instructor, I'm a, uh, I'm a part 141 instructor at uh, Sun Air Aviation, uh, meaning that there's set courses and set classes. That's what I would recommend doing uh, for newer pilots trying to get into it. Don't worry about the time, just take your time. It, it builds up quickly, you get one, two, three. Next thing you know, you got 250 hours, you got your commercial, and then you get your instructor, and now next thing you know, you got almost over a thousand hours. The most I like about instructing is uh, seeing somebody grow like I did, learning with it, and especially the ones that are passionate about it and want to do it as a career as well. I like seeing them coming in day one, knowing nothing about flying, you just see their face, they're eager about it. And then when they get, by the time they get their license, they know what they're doing and they're, they're confident. I never really pictured myself flying gliders. I was actually quite scared of them. I thought you'd just get towed up and then come back down as a little sled ride and that's it. Uh, they took me up for a glider ride and we stayed up for about an hour. I couldn't believe it. Before I knew it, I'd, right after my private and uh, multi, I had my glider rating too. If I'm not flying professionally, I like to be on the water, either wakeboarding, uh, wake skating, or fishing. It's real important spending time with my family, especially on the water. It's a good time to bond together. We, we all just kind of hang out and kick it back, watch each other ride, and push each other, try new tricks. I started flying RC airplanes when I was uh, about four years old. My brother, he got me into it. And this definitely made me a better pilot, being able to uh, to know the controls, um, you know what the controls are doing, and you get a third person view of the airplane, what the airplane's doing. I always wanted to be a boat captain first, but uh, when I was about seven years old, I uh, flew on an airliner, and uh, just that feeling of taking off, getting pushed into the seat, I was like, yep, this is what I wanna do instead. I don't wanna drive boats, I wanna, I wanna drive planes. It's important flying my granddad just because I know he knows so much more than I do. Um, I learned so much from him and he also has really cool, um, the, the goose and the L4 Lake flying the seaplane, we, we get to fly out the water together. So I just know that that opportunity every, every second that I'm with him, I, I enjoy it because I know it's, uh, it's, uh, it's special. Taz was a baby. He's been flying, handling the controls of the goose since he was about two years old, two and a half. And he's been flying the Lake Amphibian with me time he was a kid, teenager, till the time he soloed. He's been flying the Lake Amphibian a lot and the goose he's flown about around airports and airplanes and aviation from the time I was born because of my father. I was one track. He tried to tell me to be a doctor, a lawyer, or something else. And I insisted to fly, and I did. My father had so much influence on me. He was the first one to greet Lindbergh coming back from this solo flight. And his pilot's license was number 77, was the first one to be licensed in Florida. And his aviation mechanics license number 60 countrywide. So he was one of the old timers of aviation. If you're, if you're looking into getting into aviation, I would say you gotta be passionate about it. If, if you really like it, you won't work a day in your life and it's definitely the way to go. And if, if that's what you know you wanna do, then do it.